What's happening, Crypto Farm? Happy, happy Monday, baby. It is chilly. I'm defrosting the car right outside the house. So, well, I'm not defrosting shit because I'm not even turned it on yet. I have now. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott and we'll be watching on IGTV, Facebook, YouTube or Cinnamon. It's a pleasure to have you here. Video last week on Thursday didn't upload to cinema for some reason, so if it happens again today, I am sort of um, trying to push content on that platform because I'm trying to be an advocate of it and help grow it. Um, yeah, interesting one. It is Monday, guys. We are another day closer. Oh, to global mass adoption, baby. Global mass adoption. Yeah, maturity. Fair enough, we need that further down the line, but global mass adoption is where the true gains for people truly start. That's what most are in for. We're in for gains, we're in to gain money, to gain financial freedom, to gain financial security, stability, whatever. Whatever you're in it for, you want some gains. Moneygram are gonna help us do that, you see. Because MoneyGram are pushing to launch Ripple's XRP powered cross-border payments platform worldwide. Oh, oh, mm, yeah. So Ripple CEO Brad Garland now says MoneyGram is pushing to rapidly expand its use of XRP for cross-border payments. In a new interview at FinTech Week 2019, Garland now said MoneyGram CEO Alexander Holmes, who wants to know how quickly Ripple can expand its XRP powered payment solution called On Demand Liquidity, ODL it's being called now, to new corridors. Ooh, I got a call from the CEO of MoneyGram two weeks ago and he's upset with us because we're not moving fast enough. That was an unbelievable call. He wants us to launch On Demand Liquidity, formerly known as X Rapid, in more markets more quickly because they're having such a good experience with Mexico that they're like, look, we want to spread this more quickly, more aggressively. On-demand liquidity is currently up and running in two destination corridors, Mexico and the Philippines. Ripple has dropped various clues hinting that the company is looking to bring the product to Argentina, Brazil and a number of Asia Pacific countries. But Garlinow says the company will only launch new corridors once they are sure regulators and market makers are fully on board. We're not going to launch new markets until we've engaged regulators in those markets. We know that the exchanges on the other end are robust and compliant and all the things that go with that. Ripple changed the name of its XRP-based payment product from XRapid to on-demand liquidity earlier in the month. The company says the change is part of an overall strategy to focus on Ripple's presence as a payment network. Ripple partnered with MoneyGram back in July as part of the deal. Ripple purchased $30 million worth of shares in the company with the option to purchase another $20 million worth over the next two years. Usa. That, my friends, is the be all and end all almost, isn't it? That's what's going to push mass, ad mass adoption. Um, multiple corridors. Now, I keep saying people should be patient. But it seems MoneyGram's CEO is also struggling to be patient. You've, um, you've legitimately just got to wait, haven't we? As hanging as it is, we've just got to wait for, for more of that. Transfer wise, transfer go, MoneyGram, Western Union, your local bank, Barclays, NatWest, Bank of China, whatever. We've just got to wait till they all start using it for the remittance and it spreads out from them because once you get one once cross currency is out the way once cross currency is out the way baby that is it it is truly truly going to take off where they say like it can move anything of value it's moved they're moving millions 
in value of Bitcoin across the XRP ledger, they're moving. It's just unbelievable what it can do. And once they get currency to currency out of the way and they talk about cross-border payments and remittance this and remittance that, it is going to shift to cross-network payments, internet of value coming into full force. Absolute full force. Now, there was a, I, I was a little bit uh, out of it weekend. So, I was... Um, not that up to date on shit. Kurt mentions this document and why everyone's getting banned and all that. And I've seen a few posts about it on Twitter, but I'm going to look at that a little later. But apparently a load of people got banned off Twitter or suspended, I think was the term most people were using. They got suspended and um, just for sharing a document, which is quite interesting. And Forbes have got here two days ago, forget China. Is this the real reason Bitcoin and Ethereum are like? It's probably fucking just before the little dip, right in it, or the little pump. Moneygram pushing it along Ripple, that's Rappy Powell Core. We read that. Trey Legend Peter Brown says Ripple XR. Ooh, it's about to blow up. They're all about to. They all jump on the moon fucking stories, don't they? I want some attention, so I'm going to say it's going to moon. It's just people, how can people still not get it is, is, is the thing that comes down to me. So Ripple's executive says XRP and crypto assets are poised to grab millions of customers in micropayments revolution. Now some of these have been asking about Coil. Coil works absolutely fucking great most of the time. Until, like I say, like we had some upload problems the other day. We had got processing problems now. But don't act like YouTube didn't have problems at the beginning, guys, and doesn't still occasionally have problems now because it does. Every platform does, and it will get better, stabilise, and they'll fix the bug bugs in the end. The micro payments aspect of it, as soon as a contributor starts watching a video, you just see the money pinging up. Oh, it's great. It's great. Crypto assets like XRP are the perfect technology to trigger a revolution in the world of micropayments, according to one Ripple executive. At FinTech Abu Dhabi 2019, Ripple's managing director for Southeast Asia, the Middle East and North Africa said hundreds of millions of people will one day rely on micropayments to move value. Navigupta says real-world use cases include allowing websites to access content for a few pennies instead of signing up for a subscription. Let's assume the website already has millions of subscribers and it's reaching a saturation point and wants to give you the right to read just one article at 10 cents, but there is no payment system in the world today which can accept 10 cents from MLA and pay it to the publisher. Nobody can do this at a reasonable price in a quick fashion, so that she presses one button on the one side and on the other side she's able to read an article but with cryptos can do it at almost a negligible cost they're able to let emily read an article so the micro payment oh, stop jumping so you know when the site you're reading and the site bounces because there's an advert popping up and i know i got brave on this phone so i got brave on this phone <laughs> At almost legible cost, they were able to let Emily read an article, so micropayments is one such area where a very large number of publishers are looking for a venue to go to hundreds of millions of customers like Emily and get them on board while they're able to serve bite-sized content. Another big potential use case could emerge in the billion-dollar video game industry. Go up to points to the sale of virtual in-game items as potential mainstream marketplace for micropayments and says his son is ready and waiting. He wins virtual swords. He'll win different things, but what he wants to do is convert his virtual sword into an ice cream, and he wants to sell his virtual sword for a dollar or for someone else who wants it. He wants to get to the next level and convert that to ice cream. There is no payment system in the world that lets him do that. Oh, not yet. Not yet, mate. Not yet. But we just won something of value in the video game and social media. Everyone says, your sword is valuable. You saw it's sick, bruh. <laughs> you saw it's valuable, but what he needs is an ice cream. So what are we able to do is take the digital asset from him and through XRP convert that into an ice cream, which he can get at a shop in a fiat currency. These are the huge markets in waiting with hundreds of millions of customers 
where the pent up demand is there, but we are failing them because there is no micro payment system. And at Ripple, we are changing that through investing in companies, through working in the ecosystem and helping them enable their businesses. And this is an idea whose time has come. So guys, yes, it is Monday. And we are one step closer and woohoo! Like I said, like I said, once we get currency to currency out of the way, it's gonna enable little Timmy. He's gonna be able to sell his Fortnite skin, yeah, for the Cornetto baby. Yeah, that's what his internet of value is all about. He's selling ex <laughs> he's selling Fortnite skins for Cornettos through XRP. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so on that note, enjoy your week. Go and smash Monday's fucking face in, yeah? Don't delay, get some crypto today. If you've got some spare cash, only invest what you're willing to lose. Leave it in long term, accumulate and wait, live long and hodl that shit, get happy, I am wishing health and happiness to you and your family, if you're not happy, go get it, go get it son, go get it son, go get it, you know the script, we love crypto, we love XRP, and we love you, fuck yeah, peace!